work around my schedule, get used to my new schedule in terms of my new job. Um, and so that, so, you know, life kind of got in the way of making videos for a bit, but I'm back and it's good to be back. So now I, I know I kind of missed on the Megalobox and Steingate, um, anime impressions, uh, and doing those two videos was kind of, you know, it, it was kind of, I, I enjoyed doing them. I, I was just trying to find the time to, you know, sit down, watch the anime, make a script, then edit everything. And it was just, you know, then, you know, like I said before, life got in the way. But, you know, this is a clean slate. This is a clean slate. You know, the summer anime is officially here and we're starting off with Hanebato. Now, I don't know the first thing about Batman. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know a single thing about Batman. <laughs> I never had a reason to watch Batman before. But what I do know is that sport animes are a hit. They are a hit. If you go from Captain Tsubasa, Prince of Tennis, Kuroko no Basket, Haikyuu, Aisha 21, sport animes are a hit. And, you know, when I was watching the, um, the preview for this, I was like, I, I fell in love with it. So I already knew this was going to be a great, a great anime. Um, so let's start off with my impressions of episode one of Hanibato. So, and, and this will be spoilers, you know, if you don't want to watch, if you don't want to hear spoilers or hear what happened in the episode, um, I, I thank you for stopping by, but, but like I said, we're going to keep this train rolling. Um... So the very first thing I noticed was that, you know, the first maybe 30 seconds of the anime were shown a flashback. You know, it's not that long with flashback. It's maybe about, you know, the, in the anime wise, it's about six months ago. So it's before the new school year starts. And so the really first thing I noticed, you know, as you saw in the opening clip I played was that the animation itself was superb. Normally, I do not like GCI animations when it comes to anime. It makes it look very tacky. It makes it feel out of place, especially if they haven't, if the animators have not used CGI beforehand, before that scene. It, it looks really tacky, but here, it looked really well done. The animation and this anime is gorgeous, uh, and I love what they've done with this. But out of the way, the focus on the flashback itself is to show uh, a demoralizing effect of what happens when you are completely dominated as an opponent <laughs> I mean and it, and it has like it affects on the person who's doing the dominating and the opponent that's getting dominated so you know you know they, they show like a little clip of the score and it was 20 to zero she was getting smoked she eventually lost 21 to zero she was getting smoked y'all smoked so as the match ends, it you know, as you know, as you guys saw earlier in the video, as it, you know, the images are are in a loop. The you know, both players asked, "Why am I playing Batman?" One is pro you know, so, so I'm very curious on how these two sides, these two point of views. Um, will correlate with this anime because you got one side that's you know probably so hurt that she's so better than everybody that maybe she doesn't find it as a challenge anymore. Now you know wh why is she ruining people's fun for the sport? And the other one is like I got my butt whooped so much. How do I get better? And 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 that and that's pretty much what this anime or the first impression I got from this anime. And I'm being honest. So, so fast forward six months. Um, we have apparently the girl. Her name is Ayano Has Hanesaki. Um, she and her childhood friend Elena are both in the same high school. This this is all built up, everybody. Once again, it's all built up. You know, they were in the same high school. They were talking about what club should they join. And you know, you know, you know, they and a couple of classmates were talking about tennis, and they were talking about badminton. Apparently, the Batman team in the school does not have the highest of reputations. In that regards, that the team captain, I guess, who was the opponent uh, in the flash in the flashback, excuse me, in the flashback, is so motivated by that crushing loss that she's 
you know, taking her anger out on, you know, her teammates. And, you know, that that's, that's not having a good effect with the rest of the team. As you can see, there is a clear divide in the team between, you know, between Rico and, you know, Aligaki. You know, Rico's, Rico's her friend. Like, she's there to support her. She knows how much that loss hurt her. But, but Aligaki is taking her anger out on the rest of the team. And it's showing that the rest of the team is not very receptive of, the, of her, of her motivation to try to push the team forward. That she's doing it in a way that is driving not only members that are there, but is driving potential members that may have some interest away from the sport. So all around, the Batman club is not getting better. <laughs> They're getting worse. Their team chemistry is getting worse. And they're not only losing potential members, but they're losing the members that they already have. And so, so Aligaki just wants to improve the team because she realized that the talent level was so, was so much, that she wasn't as talented as the other girl was. And so, and she literally states in the anime that we're not natural players. We don't have the talent like some other players do. So we have to work twice as hard. We have to put in twice the effort to get to where they want to be, to get to the highest mountain, to get over the hill. And so, you know, you know, after uh, after like a bad locker room scene, you know, like I said, after the after after Rico, you know, kind of, I mean, after Aligaki kind of laments that. It drops from the point that that Rico, you know, she kind of, you know, saw her friend off. She's walking home. She sees Ayano running past her and recognizes in, recognizes her instantly to the point where she was getting ready to ask, weren't you the girl that, but then she was like, nah, never mind, never mind. Forget it. I'm sorry I asked. So when she got home, you know, she sent the quick text to Aligaki and she was like, I ran into old girl who was in the tournament. Now, I, I'm i not quite sure if the anime said if she sent the text or not. But, but that's kind of crazy that the two ended up going to the same high school. And so, the next day at practice, Aligaki is, you know, once again, showing her frustrations. And, you know, at the team not doing so well. And to the point where she gets into it with her third year, gets into it with her senior. Um, that, that's kind of looked down upon in Japan. You know, you're supposed to respect your elders. It doesn't matter if they're a year older than you or 50 years older than you. You're, le you're at least supposed to show respect to your elders. It's kind of looked down upon when you're not. It really isn't. And so, and the third year and her frustration at, at, um, at Aligaki... She basically was like, why are you taking your anger out on us? Why are you doing that? And so, Aligaki was like, well, if you can't handle the heat, you can leave. <laughs> she pulled a march. She was like, you can jack. You can step. Go. And that's what happened. So, the third year, and you know, a couple bunch of other students left the team. So, not only were they already having problems trying to get new members now they're losing members they lost a good chunk of their female members and at this point they're in dire straits and so you know fast forward a little bit more Arigaki is you no know, she's running around the campus you know she's getting that training and getting that cardio in and she spots Ayano playing tennis and she's straight up she's in the words of Steve A. Smith she's bamboozled she was like, why is she playing tennis? Because she recognized her instantly. She was like, wait, what? Why is this girl playing tennis? And, you know, Ayano trying to be slick. She was, you know, hiding her talents until an errant tennis ball got into the direction of her childhood friend. And she instantly leaped over there and swatted the ball away. So after all this happened and, you know... Aligaki leaves in frustration. So then she goes to a bridge and, you know, Rico eventually meets her. And that's where she begins letting out all her frustration over the last six months. Talking about she was scared that 
she didn't know what to do. She had gotten beaten so soundly, she was hurt by it. She was hurt by it. She got beat 21 to 0. She couldn't even score a point. That's how hurt she was. So not only was she crying, but she was letting out all her frustration to Rico, who was, you know, being the supportive friend that she was, letting her air it all out. And that's a good job on her part. You know, letting her friend air it all out, get it out the way, so they can come back the next day, and, you know, with a better attitude. So now that Aligaki has, Aligaki has, you know, vented her frustration, talking about how can we get better when we have people like Ayano, who's so talented, when we might not have the talent like they do. Like, how is, like, like, she got a clear brick wall in front of her that she's trying to fight through. How do I get past this? How? And so, at the next practice, the manager of the team who does not know Badman as much as the members do, which is also putting the pressure on, on Ali Gaki to find members, she enlists help from her friend and Badman alumni, Tachibana Kentaro, who's now the new the new head coach of the club. And, you know, they introduce um, Kentaro as, uh, as a badminton player who was selected to go to the Olympics, but, you know, he had that patented injury right beforehand, so he wasn't able to participate. And now, I, I guess he's probably in the rehab stage now. Um, so, so now that he's in the rehab stage, he thought, why not you know, lend my talent, lend my passion, you know, and try to help my, my high, my, uh, my high school into better badminton club, uh, into badminton players. So basically his goal is to see one of them eventually make it to the Olympics or championships. So, and at this point, we basically see Elena literally drag Ayano into the gym. She was like, I think this is the right thing for you. This is what you should be doing. You should not be playing tennis. You should be playing badminton. And, you know, the coach at this point is all the static. He was like, yes, I saw you at the tennis food the other day. You got some talent. I need. We need you on the squad. We need you on the team so this team can get over the hump. And at this point, Ayano was basically like, you know, I don't like badminton. What's the point of even playing if all I'm doing is just hurting people? You know, crushing their spirits, so to say. You know, and she's going off on some, like, she's going off on a tirade tangent about how playing badminton is pointless and how it's meaningless. And, and you know, Aligaki is kind of, you know, she's getting upset. It was like, how can you talk like this when you have all the time in the world to play this sport and you're acting like this? And so that's when, you know, Alina, like, just casually offhandedly remarked. It was like, you know, why don't y'all have a match? You know, the best player of the team can, you know, if she wins, she'll have to join the, the Batman club. If Ayano wins, she can basically do whatever she wants. She doesn't have to join the team. So the, the episode pretty much ends with with Ayano, with Ayano and, and Aligaki basically playing once again, six months later, for her to join the Batman club. So I'm I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. I really am, um, and and I was pleasantly surprised by this anime. I, I normally, you know, if I, if I see anything like tennis or anything, I'll probably just skip it on down the line and maybe just push it down the list to see where I can watch it. Watch it on my on the off chance, but when I watched it, I was like, this is a great, this is a great first episode. It really set the world. Pay, it set. It really built the world. Well, it really did. Um, I, I like I like the little introduction before they got you know things off and kicking. I really do. Um, and at this point, I, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited for episode two. I really am. I I don't know if it's gonna turn out like Kuroko where they have like special skills or anything, because you we we all know that that anime went over the top with some of its basketball moves. <laughs> it really did. So I don't know if this anime is going to have that. I really don't. I hope. You know, it, it would be kind of cool to see that. But if not, I'm fine with it. 
I really am. I really am, cause I'm I'm hyped for episode two. I hope you guys are. And if you made it this far, click the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me, guys, that you sat and listened to me for 16 minutes. Th this is amazing. Um, so let me know what you think about this anime in the, in the comment section below. Leave a like. Uh, what other anime are y'all looking at for the summer? So l leave your thoughts in the comment section below. But this is Juju the Gamer. I'm signing out. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.